and Eileen M. Smiles American Antiques in Woodbury, Connecticut, and I'd like to discuss this blanket chest with you. Uh, this is what is referred to as a six-board chest. It's the, one of the simplest and uh, most basic forms of, of lift-top chests uh, made in New England. Uh, this one is made of white pine. Uh, it is from uh, Vermont and dates to the late 18th century uh, with a grain-painted decoration uh, added to enliven it uh, sometime in the early 19th century. Um, the graphic and abstracted nature of this wood graining uh, against this unusual sort of mossy shade of green, uh, you know, gives this just a unique personality. Um, this particular kind of graining, this kind of brushwork graining uh, of this uh, variety, uh, is typical of a group of pieces uh, that are uh, typical from uh, Vermont. Um, this particular chest came down in the Compton family from uh, Vermont and remained in the family until the 1990s. Uh, we acquired it then and sold it to a collection in the Midwest and uh, recently got it back. Um, it's in wonderful condition. Uh, the surface has never been cleaned or restored in any way. So we're looking at, you know, 200 year old paint that's remained in, you know, virtually pristine condition. It has what are called snipe or cotter pin hinges. Uh, this is simply two uh, steel or iron wires that are twisted together. Uh, one of the earliest forms of hinges uh, used in this country. Um, all the nails that are used are rose-headed nails, which are in evidence here. And this is the original lock. And let's see. it has um, one of the most beautiful keys that I've ever seen on a piece that we've owned. Very elaborate. And you can see here that this has been in the position in the lock for a very, very long time because you see this witness mark where the original color, steel color of the key is present in the part that was inside the lock and the darkened patina on the part that was exposed. <laughs> 